In this lesson, we're going to calculate probabilities that add up to one using mutually exclusive events. So a fair six-sided dice is rolled, and event A is getting a number less than a three, which is a one or a two. Event B is a five or a six, and event C are three or higher, which is a three, four, five or six. So events A and B, for A you can have a one or a two, and for B you can have a five or a six. So they are mutually exclusive in that, in that either one happens or the other happens, but they're not exhaustive. For A and C, you can get a one and a two, and a three, four, five, or a six, because it is a three or higher. So these are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. For B and C, for B you can get a five and a six, and for C, you can get a 3, 4, 5, and 6. So they are neither mutually exclusive nor exhaustive because the 5 and 6 are repeated for both and 1 and 2 are missing. The probability that Caitlin is late is 0.1. So a probability that she is late or not late would be mutually exclusive and exhaustive and that would have a sum of 1. So the probability of Caitlin not being late would be 1 take away the probability that she is late which is 0.9 so this is using probabilities that add up to 1 to calculate the event not happening the probability that Simon wins the game is 0.4 and it is equally likely that he is to draw as he is to lose so the probability of him not winning is 1, take away 0.6, because they are mutually exclusive. So 1 take away 0.4, which is 0.6. And because it is equally likely he could draw or lose, 0.6 divided by 2, which would be 0.3, would be the probability of him losing. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out the link in the description for the, for the full lesson.